gonna show how to take um, the uh, <clears throat> AR-15 rifle and with a has a bolt uh, carrier group for the uh, AR-15 for like 556 by 45 or whatever or 300 blackout doesn't matter or 223 Remington whichever one of those three the rifle has and you take it out and you take the bolt out and you put the 22 conversion bolt in and then the magazine uh, this is what a 22 long rifle uh, magazine would look like and this would be what a 556 by 45 magazine would look like um, so in California you can only have 10 rounds so in California the conversion kits come with with 10 um, other states you can get them maybe 25 and stuff <clears throat> same with the AR magazines AR-15, uh, 556 by 45 or whatever, any magazines in California. It's only 10 uh, for now. Anyways, here's the bolt right here, and here's the charging handle. You pull back a little bit, get a hold of the bolt, and take it out. That's the 22 bolt. Um, right here is the 556 by 45 bolt, and the 300 blackout bolt would look the same. Uh, 223 would look the same so you just take out the 22 and put it put in the 556 by 45 or take out the 556 by 45 and put in the 22 uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in the 556 bolt you turn it, uh, the rifle upside down make sure uh, the extractor is pulled forward Put it in, close it, and then push that button back through. And then now it's back to a 556 by 45. Now if I want to switch it over back to the 22 conversion, where I shoot 22 bullets, 22 long rifle bullets instead of uh, 556 by 45 or 300 blackout or 223 Remington, all I got to do is open up the back part of the gun by pushing that little button through with my hand pulling it out open it up okay and then take out um, the charging handle with the bolt a little bit you don't have to pull it out all the way and then take out the bolt and then put the other one in for the 22 conversion all right you notice you can't see me because YouTube doesn't want you to see me Okay, and then you close it, and close the top, and push that little button back through. Okay, now I've got a 22 long rifle, AR-15. Okay, that's all there is to it. And then the magazine would go in. Now with the 22 conversion, the bolt will lock back on the last round. So. And it would look like that okay and then uh, if you want to close the bolt with no bullets in it you have to push the uh, magazine release right here and then take the magazine down just a little bit and then push the magazine back up now the bolts forward and it's actually cocked so you can pull the trigger if you want and um, there you go okay and close the uh, the port right there all right, the dust cover, whatever you want to call it. Now I have myself a 22 long rifle. And <clears throat> just for my purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put the 556 by 45 bolt back in. Dorian is the one, a friend Dorian in Petaluma, California, is the one that showed me how to do all this stuff. Thank you, Dorian. So take out the 22 long rifle magazine. Open up the upper receiver, turn it upside down, pull back the charging handle a little bit. Right here, there's a little catch on the side. You pull up on that and you pull back. Again, YouTube doesn't want people to see things. It's dangerous to show you how to do something safely, in YouTube's opinion. And then put in, um, put in the bolt. I always fumble. 
I didn't always use to fumble, but I always fumble now. And then close the upper and the lower. Push the pin back through. Now I have my 556 by 45 again. Ta-da! You can do it with the air pistol like this, or you can do it with the air rifle. Uh, the advantage of the AR pistol is for people who are disabled um, and maybe have limited use of the arms. The arm they can hold the rifle with, with a uh, pistol grip right here. It can strap around my arm and then I can use it to aim and shoot with, I got a holographic sight on there. Uh, kind of like that, whatever you want to call it. So it has a little dot in the center and I can change the color and how bright it is or how dark it is. And I can also put a laser on here, a flashlight, things like that. Uh, ATF doesn't want people to do that, but they got their butts kicked uh, in federal court. So, and during the whole time I can legally use mine as a pistol. Ta-da! Anyways, that's it.